Sydney North Primary Health Network, um, one of our main roles is as a commissioner um, and that involves identifying the health and social related needs within our local region. We identified quite a big gap in social work services, so basically that meant you know, there was nothing in the community available for GPs or health professionals to refer into. There was some limited hospital services available, but nothing available in the community. When I went to my GP, I needed extra help, and we found, that's when we found Sarah. So as always, you, I get the patient's consent to be referred to the service. I've never had a patient decline. Patients think it's a wonderful service and are very appreciative of the extra help that they get through the, the social work service. Uh, it's a written referral, so you can either just write a, a letter as you would to any specialist, or you can use the, the referral form that CCMB provide and fax that through to their office and they then see the patient. If there are concerns, they'll give me a call. Otherwise, when they've completed their time with that patient, they give a, a written response back that I can then include in the patient notes. Part of the, the concerns or part of the problems for a general practice is the amount of time it takes to deal with some of the social related um, services. So things like Department of Housing, Transport, um, Centrelink, NDIS, they can be really complex and difficult to navigate for health professionals. So the idea is to try and take some of the burden away from the general practices, um, practice nurses, practice staff, in navigating some of those particular services. The GP may identify us as a service that may be able to support that, that patient. They would then send a referral to a primary and community care service Services where I would be allocated as the social worker um, or a member of my team. Then we would meet with the client or the patient and work with them to address their needs by developing an action plan with each step of how we will work to achieve the outcomes for them. During the process we would update the GP um, on how the steps are going and how the progress is um, as much as possible. My team helps with the NDIS and my health. Uh, we've been supporting people uh, navigate the National Disability Insurance Scheme, aged care system to access aged care services. Uh, we've supported carers who experience carer stress and burnout. Uh, also people who may have dependence on, on drugs or alcohol, uh, supporting them to access the assistance that they need, as well as assisting people uh, to access necessary housing and support. My husband doesn't work anymore, he's on retiring, yeah, and he's the one that does all the cooking. <laughs> he does the cleaning, the cooking, because I can't, you know, yeah, I help him, but he does all the things, yeah, he's a very good man. So when I first came to meet Teresa, um, one of the things she told me was that she doesn't leave the house, that she sits um, watching television all day. So one of my suggestions to her was getting access to services in the community, which she was very much against. She didn't want to be going out or meeting other people or attending groups. And within the space of, I think, about six weeks of us working together, I received phone calls now from Teresa wondering what groups can she go to. So there's been a complete turnaround in her wanting to get out and about in the community and access services. So at the moment we're working together to try and get NDIS in place so that she can access support works and group works in the community and that will like improve her social interaction and independence. I think the real benefits are that they know these systems, that they know how to approach the NDIS or the caseworker and they really understand the system and the intake criteria and process so that if we are struggling to find help for a patient, they're very good at going and sitting with the patient, even to the point of sitting with patients while the patient phones the NDIS, because often it's the patient who does have to phone them. I think the service is successful because we are able to respond to the patients in a very short period of time. The program is also designed to be a short-term program, so the social worker is able to go in and respond very quickly to a, a select few goals that the patient may have. So Teresa, we've been working together for a few weeks now. Have you noticed any improvements or changes in how you've been yeah. Behavior. What kind of changes? I, I feel like more alive. I feel like better with myself. 
I feel like when I go out, it's beautiful, and you did that for me. What were you doing before? Before, I was just laying on the couch all night, all day. I didn't, my sister used to say, come on, go out. I didn't, I didn't connect that I, I had to go out. And so then I tried it and I wanted more and more to go out every morning. So we go every morning out to Warrigwood or Chatswood or um, the Ring of War. And um, we buy, we walk around and, we, and um, we have a cappuccino. Yeah, just a bit better. I feel like with, with the help of Sarah and my GP, I have a team.